Right, here we go, and today's review is the Smop TF V4 tank, Mega Cloud Vaping tank, and also at the same time I should be doing it and also testing out the Fushai or Fukai. It depends how you want to say it, doesn't it? But that is actually a Segeli uh, product. This is this is a Segeli Fushai, and it's temperature controlled, and it's 200 watts. Not that I'll be going that high, possibly. Anyway, I'll do the uh, box mod first, and as I say, it's 200 watt box mod. It comes with this battery compartment, which just let me arrest the camera as usual and I'll show you it just uh, slides off, it's got a little indent there and you pull it and it comes off and I've got two uh, batteries in the same it's best to use the same amp batteries in the same type I've got two hydrain 2500 milliamp batteries which are 20 amp and 40 amp hydrain batteries and you've got a little bit of a thing here that can pull the batteries out. You just rest them under the batteries, you can pull them out. It's actually uh, negative, positive, positive, negative. So you just put the positive this side, down there. Negative to that side, over there. And you just stick that in, and negative side first. And you do the same with this one, but the other way around. So we put the positive into this side and the negative into that side and that's supposed to be under the battery so we'll just take it out and put it back in again. Now this little thing's not bad you know it's got a couple of magnets on the back. It does the job and uh, it just the little hooks on the end on the top here you see them they just go in in the holes at the top there two holes up there you see and it clips in. Uh, fairly stable could possibly do with a bit better you know a few extra magnets on or something but it seems to stay on and I've got this cover as well this rubbery cover thing I mean that would definitely keep the stop the battery leak coming off and sort of protect this finish as well a nice red finish I do love that red finish yeah man and also well what can I say standard uh, tank adapter there 510 and uh, before I move on to the ins and outs of that device, I'm going to show you the Smok TFV4 tank. This is a guzzler, a real guzzler for liquid and batteries. Now I've got these cock rings on here, look, a red cock ring as they call it. Well, it wouldn't fit on mine, but we won't go into that. And a black one, and a black cocky ring. Oh yes, that can protect the top bit to stop the top bit coming off because it opens like this. Look, watch. Like that. That's cool, isn't it? You fill through that little hole, hit the side, not through the centre drip tip hole where this drip tip goes over. Because you don't want to be filling the wrong hole. So then you slide it back across and that's it. And it's supposed to click in face place with a click, but mine doesn't really click. And there's your drip tip, which just pulls off. It's got some rubber rings in there. And pushes on. And you've got extra hole here. Airflow. For when you're uh, vaping at high temperatures. Because this device, if you do, if you put a, a temperature coil in. And, uh, or should I say, temperature capable coil and it gets really pretty hot you can just adjust that down a bit or open it how you like you've obviously got the standard uh, connector here the the air hole I mean at the bottom which is open both sides one two three that's actually got four holes all the way around four holes this is pretty smart pretty smart and you can lock it off completely which still gives you a little bit of a hole right at the top or you can open it a little bit or full it's up to you wherever you decide and uh, pretty impressive you see that big coil inside yes that's taken up most of space so you're a bit uh, short on liquid there 
I usually fill it to just above the top. If you fill it, fill it a bit more, sometimes it can sort of leak a bit, probably out the top. I'm not quite worked that one out yet, but I tried to fill it a bit below that coil level anyway. And uh, I'll just pull this to bits and show you what coil, if I can get it off, what coil, let's just make sure this doesn't leak everywhere. There you go. The coil that I've got in here, let's just dry it out, is the uh, smock. Well, they're all smock coils. I'm going to have to take it out to have a look, though. One second. We'll have a look. That is the uh, tri coil. There's three coils in there. Can you see them? Three coils. Now, I've actually gone out and bought a whole big packet of them. There's five in that. Five big beauties. I'll just show you quickly. So I don't spoil the video. Look at the size of these beauties. They are massive. Absolutely massive calls. Anyway, put them back in the box. So there it is. That's the biggest call. Uh, you got a, a tri call. Uh, is it quad call in here? And that's uh, got a lot of air vents around the side. Look. There's four on that side, four on that side, four on that side. And you obviously have to uh, prime all them. And it does guzzle up the, the liquid. It does guzzle up quite a bit of liquid. Just filling it up. But uh, it's still quite good, that is. But uh, like I say, it's a beast. It is a beast. No doubt about it. Is it a beast? Yes, it is. And you've got the rebuildable here as well. Which you have to undo a little screw. Or do you? Let me have a look if it's this one. No, you don't. You can just unscrew this one. Sorry about that. And there you go. For the rebuildable, I've actually put some uh, thing in that. But it's very wet at the moment, as you can see, because I primed it. But it can't in there. But uh, yeah, it's, I mean, even that's quite impressive, isn't it? For one coil quite big isn't it so we'll put that back on and we'll try to get through this review pretty fast because there's quite a bit to show you you see so what we'll do is a sticker a tanker tanker back in there which one shall we have I'll go for the I'll go for the tricoil because it's actually uh, primed up and ready to go so take the bottom and screw it in straight in there we go take the top and screw it on see how much juice I've got left in I might have lost a bit of juice doing this yeah, I don't know yet we'll have to see make sure that screws in nice and tight but not too tight oh the bitch don't like it tight no she don't or maybe she does I don't know anyway that's back to normal we'll just check how much juice we've got in that when it comes down yes there's enough for a review so that's cool anyway get on to the mod the mod and the mod like I said is a Segali Fukai or Fushai and we'll switch it on one two three four five and it's backwards turn it upside down there you go oh, I'm going to set to 60 watts at the moment as you can see zero ohms Atom check atomizer because I've not got it on the top obviously so there you go check atomizer check can it will it go up or down it will it will we do anything else? I don't know. What about the press these two together? Does that do anything? Mm, oh yes, it adjusts. Just is. It adjusts is nickel and at the other end titanium coils and PWR. If you're wondering, it does sound like power, doesn't it? Well, that's what it is. It's for wattage, so that's for your wattage. So if you put in uh, temperature coils in, you want to want titanium or nickel uh, if you're wanting power for normal vaping coils canthal uh, what are they called clapton or whatever you put it on that one so there you go so let's get this baby on the road let's switch her off for a minute let's switch her off she's off she's off let's bung her in Stick her in, stick her in the hole, stick her in the hole, stick her in, stick her in the hole. Oh yes, stick her in the hole. There she goes, she's in the hole. Oh yes. Right, now we're going to do a bit of a zoom out on this one. And there we go. So we should have enough juice in there anyway. So we're going to switch her on. One, two, three, four, five. Fuchai! 
and we're getting a point not point twenty one ohms. Yas, yas. And she's powering up. She's powering up. Can you see her powering up? There she goes. What a beast. Well, let's have a little vape on this mother. Here we go. Take these silly glasses off because look, I've only got one arm on these glasses. And the other pair's got the arm on the other side. Oh yes. All good fun. Here we go. So I'm going to vape at uh, 60 watts. Yeah, let's knock it down to exactly 60 watts there. Let's see if we can see that on the camera. Yes, we can. So here we go. We'll try that then. Try it there. That's nice, that's very nice. Oh yeah. That's lovely. Uh, as you know I'm from my last video, I've still got a slightly bad throat. So I've got to take it a little bit easy, but I'm going to knock it up. I'm going to knock it up to 80 watts. Oh yes, let's try 80 watts. Nice. Ah, just gotta wash my throat a bit. Right, we'll go for a we'll go for a Death to try hundred. Might kill me off. We'll try it. Battery's going. Guzzles juice and it guzzles battery. But we'll try it. Let's just try that. I did do a throat it then. Just in case. I'll take a throat it now. If there's any juice left, oh, what's my juice? What's my juice? Here we go. Mm. It's nice, warm, warm taste. Even on wattage, it's a bit warm, which is nice. That is nice. That's smooth, smooth, man. That's smooth. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. I will try the other coils in there, but uh, just gonna make the video longer. And I think you get the idea, don't you? So we'll just rest this down here and just show you another another quick thing. Obviously you can put it into, uh, like I've shown you, you can put it into temperature mode and it will go up and down in temperature mode. Have I got the temperature calling? Uh, don't think I have. Let's just have a look. Let's just press uh, up and down. Uh, let's see what it is. What is it? What is it? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. System off. Switch it off. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck I! Up and down, put these, press these two buttons together. You get your mode. Now, if you had nickel, nickel in, you press that on the nickel, and then you get temperature. And there's your temperature. And that goes all the way up to, we shall see, we shall see. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, it's going down because I've gone the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. We've gone to Fahrenheit now, and it's. Uh, now we're send centigrades or Celsius or whatever you want to call it. I don't know the proper name. But anyway, centigrade, Celsius, Fahrenheit, we'll go up again. Here we go, we're going up in the F mode. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, baby. Let's keep going, keep going and see how much this baby goes. You know how much it goes. You, you might know, you might know. Have a guess, you can have a guess what you think it goes to. Yes, it went to... Oh, it's gone too fast. Five... Five. Yeah, that's a bit strange. That a five seven two, and then it went to uh, three hundred centigrade. So there you go. And it's doing that now. But there you go. Alter it how you want. Take it up. Take it down. Probably won't. Let's take it down. I'll tell you what. <laughs> take it down to about two hundred. Two hundred Fahrenheit. Uh -huh. You can't get radio stations on this, but it does everything else. Right, see that, that won't fire because it's the wrong coil, we see. You're not really supposed to do that, but it's got protection in it and all that. Because it's a nickel, you see, and I've not got a nickel coil in. So let's proceed again, see what we get. Uh, is it got a titanium coil in, shall we see, or shall we blow the coil up? Let's just sit. There we go. Right, my battery, my battery actually went flat then, but it doesn't matter because I'm on a different camera now. And just to sum the video up, she's a baby, she's a beauty, she's gorgeous, she's absolutely full shy, she's lovely. And you, you know, like I say, you've got this rubber ring. you got a spare O-ring, uh, spare O-ring, spare tank, Pyrex tank, and there's my kettle boiling by the way, if you're wondering what the noise is. 
and I actually I actually did crack this one somewhere uh, as soon as I got it or the, or the next day actually I don't know how it happened I don't know if it's because it was in uh, temperature mode and it was the uh, too much heat or what and if you can see that let's move around a bit you might be able to see that it did crack but there was a spare one in the box and I put that in and I've emailed them I've emailed to Gally I may be getting another one of them but they're fairly cheap on uh, eBay or anywhere else you can probably find them they're fairly cheap anyway so I won't worry about that too much because you do get that spare one sort of thing well, I'm not going to send it back just to you know because that's broke anyway that's about it you get the cock rings you get the screwdriver you get the spare devices to stop it leaking you know the o-rings and whatever you call them and things like that and canthal and all things and you've got your booklet here as well pretty comprehensive I do suggest you uh, use a magnifying glass though or glasses if you're a bit hard to read because it's a bit small as all these things are these days a little bit small so that's basically about it really like I say you've got some cock rings and they look really nice let me just show you you might have seen it earlier these look really nice if you put them on because I've got a red mod and a black tank and these can look nice just sitting you know on, on there black and red or red and black and you can put one at the top here where the top opens just to give her that extra little protection in case you think it might fall open or leak or something you can put one on there you could put one just at the bottom below the uh, airflow things like that whatever you want to do or you can even just put this on as well that will stop the battery battery thing popping off just in case you're worried about that uh, you probably get these in different colours as well uh, not too keen on that because it it uh, hides my red and I do love red as you probably guessed so that is about it to be honest that's about it nice boxes as well I do like boxes that's about it really uh, we'll do, have another little vape uh, do an 100 what 100 uh, celsius 200 celsius not far enough on that let me uh, have a little play uh, probably killed the battery uh, a bit of battery left should work shouldn't it uh, is it because it's changed the modes I don't know let's just have a little butchers at that something's not quite right there let's change it over see what mode it's in uh, titanium now that's what it worked didn't it nickel nickel it didn't power up in that so then we changed it to uh, of course we could change it to what do you call it power mode couldn't we just to show you I'd probably not put the tank on tight something daft like that uh, power we'll put it back in power to another quick vape yes it's still working it's still working it's me I don't know what I'm doing no anyway we'll, we'll stick it on because this baby, you know, as I say, goes up to 200 watts. I don't really want to do it on 200 though. But I might just chance it on about. I'm going the wrong way again. Why am I always going the wrong way? Oh, bloody hell. Going the wrong way. Well, we'll go for 50, 55 uh, for a start. There we go, quick 55. There we go. Right, we'll go a bit higher. We'll go a bit higher. We'll go to 73, whatever it lands on. Lucky dip, lucky dip. I'm a bit dubious about doing throat ticks because <coughs> my throat's not too good at the moment, as you know, as I've probably already said several times and in my other videos. Go for a 90 now. 90 watts if you can see that on the screen mm, probably a bit flashy 90 it actually looks like 900 doesn't it it's not it's 90 so we'll try that before i wear all the juice out <coughs> vaping to get up a throat <laughs> i love it you just gotta love it um i think my uh sweet spot as i say probably be he says around the 60 
60, 70. Maybe it will go higher when my throat gets a bit better. But I've had a cold, so I'm not moaning on. I'm not moaning, honestly. So we'll, we'll 60 is quite nice for me, actually. That's a nice. That is nice. 60. That'll do me for now. In the old wattage mode. Well, anyway, you get the idea, don't you? It's nice. It's nice to hold. It's a bit funny shape at the top there it sort of slants around a little bit and, and at the bottom as well but <coughs> it's you know it's a nice device it is really and i love the red absolutely love red as you can probably tell anyway that's about it we'll call it today and i'll see you on the next video oh yes Don't forget to subscribe and like. Oh yes.